Warriors kicking off the road to Worlds for the SPL. Let's throw it to our casters, Gorin inbound. Thanks so much. He's going to get aggressive here. Volcanic Lightning to close the gaps. That man's the target. A couple of autos is all you need. One more hit should do it. And Pagon, first blood to the Warrior. The ult from Net, you need one more hit. And Pagon's there to provide the damage from the Warriors is too good. They come to the duo and they clean up all Three, well played and a 4-0 lead. Four minutes away, the Warriors have been super active and that's not changing anytime soon. Panatom and Netroid catch out Zap in the left side jungle around the shield buff. And Genetics, <laughs> a couple of autos picks that one up, up on the powwow. Forcing the beads out of Scream is Panatom now, getting aggressive on the Haddix. They're over at the right side blue buff. But that's gonna be too much of a gap to try and make up for. Pagon's low. They actually might be in a little bit of trouble here. No, it's Scream. It's all a bait from the Warriors. They pull him in, and they look for a little bit more. No way, Solo or Troll at 11 minutes, diving the Tier 2. Kills off Finn, and is now going for the ult. They're going to continue bullying Haddix. It's catastrophe. They're the Ravens, 9-0. to zero. The Warriors just can't seem to do any wrong. But that's about all it does. It is a death nonetheless. And a 10th on the board for the Warriors, 5-0-2. And guess what's up over here? It's the Oni Fury. Is he gonna even need it? Sanctified Fields get used, beads and response damage is there. And it's up to the Pele. The beads don't last forever, but neither do Sanctified Fields. Kill is good. Thing here, no beads, he just used them. It's gonna be a blink forward. The chase down is good, but the damage! Oh my god, Pagon! Finally, they shut him down, but he almost that killed was Scream insane. in the process. Scream! Oh my god, puts one up on the Ravens. And you see how this Warriors comp is going to kind of go for this. It's going to be, you know, slowly going in, and then back up heal. Pegon's actually looking for a pick on Zap. Oh, man. Quick. Oh, no relics. Zap is just dead. Pegon just one-shots him, and, no and he's gone. And can do anything about it, either. And he's gone. Force of the Dazzling Offensive. Panatom's getting aggressive. He doesn't Even have beads. beads. To knock out and avoid the stun. Haddix has his own beads. Can't do anything about it. Paolau used... At this point, you're going to kill the Order Titan at least once right here outside the Phoenix. All five of you got Fire Giant because that's what the team was doing while they were chasing down Haddix. And you're going to have, as you had mentioned, not only your minion wave, but your Titan coming in. Pagon! On to Pagon just to save your lives and, and give you a chance at the defense. But inbound, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. The Phoenix is still falling. Panatom gets absolutely melted between Scream and Vin. Vin? Has to fall back, Phoenix goes down. Titans still around the tier one, now on the Raven's side. So the Warriors have a little bit of waiting to do to try and get everybody here. Zatman's the target for Sot, and <laughs> he's gonna find him, gets a double, and suddenly the siege isn't as over as I thought. The Warriors surge forward, they kill off three. Haddix is respawned. He's gonna do his best, but the Titans walking its way down right. Health bars are low. One pick on the venue here, and it should just be game. Well, they've got the pick. Do they have the game? Haddix has to walk back, and it has been an onslaught from the Warriors in game one. Genetics goes down, but so does the Order Titan Warrior. Are the Oni Warriors going to go on to match point? Let's find out in game number two. We'll have to see a pretty big changeup. Single-handedly <laughs> stops and then he goes in with the double tap, finds the first blood, and now how things have changed. The blue buff invade. It's gonna be on the other side. Pulled under the tower from Haddix. Wall stun. Double tap. Double kill. And he dies for to Panatom. What a great play from the jungler. Wow. Poor Genetics is gonna, you know, rewrite some history for the Warriors here. Really? Finally. It doesn't re even really matter. He got that purple buff. He did exactly what he wanted to do. That's Man. two purple buffs down for the Warrior side. And then Panatom puts an absolute performance on over in solo lane. I mean, that's he should be down. Gonna be a kill, yeah. Panatom, wow, that's actually maybe the worst person to pick it up. Three and one now for him. As he turns it around, you burn the relics, the ult from Hurry. And you steal away the purple as well. Panatom's, whatever he ate this morning, uh, Oxy, but does he go back in? Low health bar for Scream, you will be losing your life. No, instead he dunks down, finds the kill, and thwarts the Ravens one more time. Panatom is feeling the Thor, and I'm with him. You mentioned we haven't seen him ult yet. It's gonna be enough. Pagon's diving the tier one and walking out of there. So while the Ravens were playing aggressive over on left, everybody else on the Warriors was looking to get something done. Sot 
Tanks up the tower for a little bit. Let's Panatom. A 4v3. Damage is going to be tested. River's Rebuke up, and it's going to lock in the Ravens. You need a little more damage. Wall is great, but the shielding is there. Scream still walking out of here. Finally, someone on the Warriors is able to find that last hit. They only get the one kill. I mean, I, I like that they're trying to make a play on this side of the map. Netroid is a very smart player. He doesn't dash away from his support. Uh, we actually have a fight in mid. Pegon's looking to go in in the 2v1. <laughs> oh <laughs> He's my! got the damage, man! One more auto! And poor Hurry, uh, showcasing the poor, poor Scream. Yeah, he's caught right side jungle, hits an ult from Sot, and then damage from Panatom. And now a fire call, 17 minutes in from the Warriors. And there is not a single Raven in sight to try and step up to this one and do anything about it. And inbound, we'll see if they can play aggressively. Scream goes in, River's Rebuke is great. Phoenix is already down, Scream follows quickly thereafter. Sot goes forward, and in the blink of an eye, three Ravens are gone. Scream, Vin, and Hurry. Now Panatom up into the sky, looking for the dunk, finds it onto Zap, and four gone. Double kill for Sot, the Titan exposed, and the Warriors are here. They emphatically end this one 21 minutes in in the blink of an eye. Yeah, I mean, you look at the, the kills. Gonna sweep it through. Let's find out in game three. That's the question to survive that. Now, Pagon is rotating in. What all can he do? He's gonna transform into the Pele himself. Taunt is gonna be good, but here comes the damage, and there has to be the first blood. There it is. Volcanic lightning from Pagon once again. Really good peel by genetics yeah. there. He got his uh, the horrific off onto Venenu as he ulted, so that damage was actually just lowered enough that, you know, Net was able to live. Zap beads blown, he uses his ult and just one shot by Panatom. Wow. It's good damage, it's there. And all you need is a little bit more. Netroid knocks on the kill to Zap. That's three up for the Warriors. Screams, rotated over, but so have the Warriors. Pagon's here, and the damage is looking good. Knockups are clean. You need a couple autos. Panatom finds what you need. Taunt, great from Hurry, puts a kill onto the board for the Ravens. Zap in a little bit of trouble. Pagon's rotated in. Sanctified Fields does exactly what you need it to, and finally, the Ravens are starting to so show some fang in this set. He's very hard to get out of a sticky situation. Yeah. He tries to walk out. He gets CC'd a lot. Takes a lot of ability. Zap actually looking to get gone on by Panatom. His ult is down. Uh -oh. Panatom a lot of damage up. No ult available, but just enough damage. Now Scream's here. I'm gonna take him up to the sky. That should be enough on its own. And it will be. Landing kill. So one for one. Zap for Panatom. And Panatom was three and zero. Zap was one and three. I guess one and two. Uh, so now one's three and one, the other one's one and three. It's a small taunt. So that does mean I can ask this. Do you think that Scream has just continued to forget the recipe, or is he just opting out of free stats? Well, I, and honestly, it doesn't seem like it's going too rough for him. He takes Panatom up to the air. Vin gets the kill, but that's an easy one for him. Now, Pagon, what can he do? You've got the sash. You've got some damage. You managed to turn one of these around, and Pagon is going to get away with that. No way does Scream not come in more again. D transforms. You've got a little bit. Netroid on one side, and that's going to be a taunt from Hurry onto Genetic. Sanctified Fields get dropped. Damage is there, and Zap picks up a kill onto the support for the Warriors. So two for one. Vin for Panatom and Genetics. And maybe Netroid taunted into Zap's waiting arms. Double kill for the new Hunter on the Ravens. Wow, what a overall great map play by the, the Ravens again. It was just three to five, and it's now six to six. Taunt. On genetics, solo or troller here. Panatom back isn't going to be available for this, so it's just genetics, knockups good, CC is there, and just like you said earlier, it's a sticky situation. And now Pagon finds himself in a similar one. It should not have been more than the one kill, but the mid laner for the Warriors takes him up into the air and is going to come down. No Oleron for this fight just yet. Hurry gets burned down. That might be a huge win for the Warriors, especially with Zap coming in late. Sot looking for a massive stun, unable to find it. Volcanic Lightning separates it, and now Sanctified Fields create a massive set of fields to make sure. Power, 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 power. I have nothing, I have nothing. Sure, sure, we should get out of Oh my god, I can't take this. We should, 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 uh, you can see things don't go well for them. Lose three on the siege. You keep Pagon. You keep Sot. They're not going to commit for the kill. Sot's rotated in as well. And I guess they don't want everything that can come out their way. Bead's not up for Zap. Throws out the Sanctified Fields. Uses the Aegis. Now the damage is good onto Genetics. And they're going to pick that one up no problem. Rest of the Warriors are here. It's 4v4. No scream for the moment. Pagon 
and the rest of the crew need to go big, but Pagon takes too much damage. Finn goes massive in this one. He's only 2-2-8, two, two, and eight, but that is a massive kill for him, and now Haddix leads forward. It's going to bring Zap and Vin with him. They have the damage. They have the lockdown. Sot is... Now they're going to get aggressive. Great walls from Genetics. Lock in Zap. They need more damage, though. Finally, kill him off, and that one goes over to Sot. They continue their aggression. Scream, looking for lockdown. They find what they need from Finn, specifically, onto Netroid. Now the chase is on. We can still fight here. Big Tom, Big Tom, Big Tom. Warriors on the left side. Cup, 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 I have a ring toss. I can hold this in here. I'm gonna Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Go Cern, go Cern. I find the Cern, I find the Cern. On me, on me, me, me. I'm with you, Ben, I'm with you, Ben. They're all in me, they're all in me, all in me. That's one, one, one. Mori Aegis, Mori B's Aegis, Mori B's Aegis. Haddix, at this point, just trying to run away for his life. Things go so well. Big taunt there, you know, you're you're on Kern, you're on Kern, you got his beads, you got his Aegis. And then Vin has, it's the one call, and that's where it shifts. They're all in on me, and then from that moment, it's downhill, and now we're looking at it. Four gone is going to be the main target. Dash is good. He uses the Volcanic Lightning. Transformation for Aegon. You need a little bit of help. The Aegis does a lot, but he still goes down. It buys some time, though. Can they kill off Finn? It's massive, and it's necessary here for Solar Patrol. They lose him. They lose their mid laner. And of course, now up in the air, they're going to be able to get it, but they've gotten so much else done. Panatom's looped around. They're on the Titan right now. They got the left side, Phoenix. They got what they needed. Genetics, Netroid, and Panatom making sure that despite a good showing from the Ravens, it is a three-game... Very elongated fight on the right-hand side of the map. And then the only words...